Hello everybody. It is indeed the next day. Um, I'm wearing my new trousers. I don't really know if I'm filming right now, if you can see. Um, I like them, but I feel like it kind of tells people, yes, I will buy your things. So I kind of regret wearing them, if I'm honest. I don't often buy things uh, when I'm in countries because like, I don't have a lot of space to take it home. I don't want it like, I don't have a lot of space to store it at home and I never use it like once I leave the country. But these trousers, I feel like, will be useful around the world in a lot of countries so I felt like it was worth buying them I really like the patterns they're like little wrap ones so they're like one size fits all oh my goodness there's loads of goats around here I don't know where I'm going I'm just like honestly I just started walking in like random directions to get away from people like hey come into my shop it's much busier today um I don't know if, like is it Sunday Sunday is like tourist day or something I'm sorry I have to show you these goats They're like scratching themselves against the wall. Oh dear, they're getting into a goat fight. Look at this one. It's huge. Just chilling. I don't really know. I wanted to walk. I'm going to somewhere called Mirador Chefshawan. Don't oh don't fight with the bubba. Don't fight with the bubba. I'm a little bit scared that I'm going to get attacked by these goats actually. I mean some of them are just chilling, doing their own thing, others are having fights. Oh hello, that's zoomed in. Oh that's the wrong way. Okay. Um, I also don't know what this thing is that I'm going to. I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to walk through the goats. If they attack me I'll run. Okay. Hold on to my camera. <laughs> um, oh there's a bubba. Oh it's so cute. See the Boba? Oh, hi Boba! Hi! Okay, this guy is coming up to me. Hello! Hi! Are you gonna eat my trousers? <laughs> Thanks! You can't eat those! <laughs> bye bye! I am at the place pretty much. I mean, I haven't actually checked Google Maps again. I got very distracted by the goats there, but this view behind me is, I think, <laughs> what it is. Just insane. I mean, look at that. Like, you've got the mountain, you've got the blue city, you've got like this little valley, you've got the goats. I'm having the best time. <laughs> Definitely a pickup from this morning. I had another late start. I just, I had already decided that I didn't want to start early today. Um, so I decided to watch YouTube videos in bed uh, and then the lights went off at like 10 and so I was just in the pitch black room trying to get ready it was not fun there was no Wi-Fi at my hostel I wasn't having the best morning and I finally went out to try and find some food everyone's like jumping on me today like come and eat at my place eat at my place let me do your henna let me do this like buy this buy this I'm like no um, if you're shouting at me to do things it's going to make me less likely to want to do them so I just got a bit overwhelmed being in like the square area for food so I just went to the restaurant that I ate at yesterday I had some chickpeas I had an orange juice and a fruit salad and it cost me 45 dirham which is like three pounds something three pound fifty maybe um pretty decent I gave them obviously the tip as well so it was 50 in total I can see a place that I want to go to like I, w I want a coffee there I think that's as well while I'm like feeling a bit tired and like just oh I don't know I did a lot of walking yesterday as well and then like haven't had a coffee this morning didn't really have a great a great start um those goats have definitely picked up my day though I'm feeling much perky after having seen those goats um I just love animals and those goats like they didn't look unhealthy so that was quite nice um to see healthy ish looking goats um in Morocco but also just like seeing them up close one of them tried to eat my trousers I was like oh okay um, but yeah let me show you this place that I want to get to so it's this here you could just see like a little cafe I don't know it just looks 
like the kind of place that I want to be right now. But like, let me just zoom out and wow, the view. Oh, I can't get over it. That right there, like it's a postcard. It's an actual postcard and I'm in it. Also, like, I mean, I wasn't planning on vlogging a lot today because I don't really know what else there is to do, honestly. Um, I'm just kind of wandering around the nice little stream. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of wandering around today, maybe seeing some other things. So I wasn't really planning on filming a whole lot. And just as well, because not only did the lights go out in my room this morning, but so did the power. So I only charged the one camera battery that I charged last night. And I don't have a spare. So as soon as this battery goes, Maybe I'll go back and get my GoPro. I don't really know where I'm going. I see there is a lookout thing. Um, there were two Spanish ladies who were walking past me. Can't see them here. I don't know where they went. Did they go down that track? I'm not going down that track. Oh, no, I'm lying. It's not a lookout. Maybe that's why they haven't come back yet. Let's explore. Oh, God, there's so many flies. I like Morocco and I'm so happy that it's warmer but all the flies have come out it's just not the best okay yeah I think I'm gonna go back this is just kind of looking less and less inviting um, but then like what if I'm like right at the point of like something amazing I mean like the view looks pretty good okay we'll keep going it does look like somewhere that you might get killed. Okay. Hi, pretty cat. Hi, beautiful. Bye-bye. Okay, so this is the little lookout area. Okay, right, yeah. I'm glad that I took those extra 10 steps to get here instead of turning back, because, wow. C'est très joli. Not quite as good as the view from up top, but I like it. There are some very beautiful 365 degree views here. Okay, well I say 365 degrees, but maybe let's take off like the 45 degrees, so 323 views here. It's very beautiful. I'm glad that I took those extra couple of steps. I mean, like it keeps going down, but like I don't know where it goes down to. And I'm like... Do I walk all the way over there? I don't know, because that looks like a lot of steps to go back up. Like, do I go... I think I actually go all the way down, all the way up, and then we'll end up at the cafe. Happy days. Not sure though. Okay, I did have a little fear for my life moment just then, so I'm going to walk kind of quick. Um, just some people walking past me speaking in what I assume is Arabic. But he just looked a little bit scary. He was like staring at me as I walked past. But, like not in like the, the normal way that Moroccan people stare at you. It was like a I'm gonna kill you kind of stare. Or I'm gonna steal from you. And I kinda creeped out. Uh, so I'm just gonna walk quickly. We're gonna go for a little jog down the stairs. Um, but this is the one issue about coming places on my own is that I am a solo female and when I come to secluded areas where there aren't many people around I do feel a little bit unsafe sometimes um, which is why I nearly turned back earlier but then I don't want to miss out on views and stuff just because I'm traveling on my own you know it's a difficult balance to make um, I think it's okay this is pretty of other people sure go for it another very creepy smile I'm not sure I like this place <laughs> I'm gonna go quick up the stairs oh my god he's turning back at me take this man on the bridge very creepy smile he just like turned around and he was like Jesus okay there's someone else here I'm not loving this <laughs> Hola. Hello. 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 Hey, people are still staring at me. Just can people be 
less creepy. If a Moroccan person does this to you, is that like, do you want to eat or do you want to smoke weed? Like, what does that mean? And I was just like, no. <laughs> but bye. I made it to the little cafe. <laughs> I thought it looked cute and um, they're gonna get me set up a little table. I'm gonna just have a coffee. I didn't realise that there was um, music here as well, it's very nice. It's like a fancy restaurant, I just kind of wanted a coffee, um, so I hope that's okay. Uh, it's a bit more expensive than like a regular place, but I don't mind because it's got an amazing view, it's got a nice atmosphere. Um, so like in those places the mint tea would be like 10 dirham uh, but here it's 20 so um, and like all the food is like a little bit more expensive but it's still like cheaper than England so it's, it's still nice. I've just noticed that the goats, I can see the goats from here that's so cute. I actually noticed because I saw people walking along that path and I was like oh it wasn't just me and then I was like ah oh, I can see the goats. <laughs> so cute. brought over the uh, coffee he put it over with a bottle of water which is nice it's good that they do that I don't know if it's included or whatever but um I said no because plastic and it's like a small plastic bottle it's not like a big one where at least you can like drink it for a long period of time but it was really good that they do that but yeah no I have my my grail bottle where is it there it is <laughs> have my little grail water bottle there so that I don't have to use plastic um, I have been filling it up for the tap actually and I've been absolutely fine. No diarrhea as of yet. So <laughs> um, yeah, I've been drinking the tap water so it seems fine. It's getting cold, it kind of looks like it might rain. So I'm glad that my coffee's come now so I can have something to warm me up but it's just that little bit too hot. So I'm kind of like in that stage where I'm cold and I want to drink the hot thing but the hot thing's too hot to drink. That stage. Hello, I have made my way back to the hostel just to use the toilet and fill up my water bottle. Um, that's actually something that I really love about this uh, place is that because it's so small, it's so easy just to pop back to use the loo. Did someone just fart? <laughs> I don't know um yeah it's really easy to just pop back and use the toilet um and like fill up my bottle um but I came back to also pick up my like portable charger but I did some some washing uh the other day yesterday last night uh I took my socks and underwear in the shower because I'm hoping that I won't actually have to do a wash while I'm here I've brought like enough clothes that they could last me three weeks without doing a wash but I didn't bring enough underwear because I was planning on like hand washing it um so I've got like some socks dry in there I've got like underwear hanging up on hooks and other things but like it's so cold in this hostel that it's not drying like they're still as wet as they were last night I've got one more night here potentially two I don't even think they're going to be dry by then like my towel as well has not been dried whatsoever oh. Yeah, made a rookie error there, so I think I'm going to be transporting wet underwear with <laughs> me. They're not even going to be dry by the time I need to use them, I may as well have just done a wash. Just trying to save money, time, effort. I hate doing washes when I'm travelling, it's like my least favourite part of travelling because trying to find somewhere that does your washing without ruining your clothes, um, that actually returns it to you clean because some places don't. Yeah, um, it's my least favourite part of travelling, so that's why I tried to avoid it, but uh, might end up having to do it anyway. Yeah, I have some things for the bin. I don't know where the bin is in this hostel, and actually I said that I was going to go onto the roof while it's daylight, so I'm going to go and do that now quickly, so that you can actually see, and so that I can see, not just doing it for you guys, but I want to see as well. Let's go up and have a look. I think there's like some builders that I'm going to have to awkwardly walk past. Okay, so this is the little roof area. Um, you can quite clearly tell that they're doing like some building work up here, but um, 
Yeah, this is the view. Pretty nice. However, like, oh, I suppose there is like a chair here that you could sit on and look out at the view. It's quite nice, but it is cold up here. Also, this is the first spider that I've seen in Morocco. There he is. Can spiders be poisonous here? I don't know. Yep, so this is the roof and this is the view. Damn, that looks good in the camera. <laughs> I mean, it looks good in person as well. I am just going to go and walk around. It's actually really cold. Um, it's starting to shiver a little bit just from being up here for a couple of minutes, which is actually why I was sat downstairs for so long. I've just been sat in the hostel for like half an hour. Um, it's just starting to get really cold. But oh look, you can see the Spanish moss. I don't know if I said yesterday actually, I went up to the Spanish mosque to watch sunset and I went up quite a bit earlier than sunset because, well I mean someone told me to get there between like, when do you say 6.30 and 7, uh, which I would say closer to 7 would be a better time for this time of year, I don't know what time the sun sets. At other times of year on uh, the weather app it says that the sun sets at half 7 so I'd get there. 30 45 minutes before sunset just because there is like a big mountain so the sunset is technically earlier than actual sunset time because it sets behind the mountain um so if you get there too late then you won't see it but um yeah anyway i got up there early so i could go and like wander around the spanish mosque and um there's literally like it's tiny so there wasn't a lot to do I might try and go back um, tomorrow with people I'd recommend going up there and looking but don't get there too early because there is not a lot to see it's very small anyway gonna go downstairs again now so that is the end of this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye